Welcome to the wonderful world of reading. In this I Can Read story, Chicken in Mittens, you will be going on a fun adventure. Are you ready to read? Here we go! Zoe stepped out of the barn. So did her best pig, Sam. Fresh snow covered the farm. We can be explorers, said Zoe. It's cold, said Sam. Arctic explorers, said Zoe. Wear your mittens, said Clara. Zoe and Sam wore their mittens. Not what I meant, said Clara. Where are we going? asked Sam. To the North Pole, said Zoe. I think it's this way. There's a fence, said Sam, and a big hill, and there might be yetis. Sounds like fun, said Zoe. Let's go. Sam caught up to Zoe at the fence. Now what? asked Sam. We can't go through it. You're right, said Zoe. She wiggled under. Sam wiggled under too. He made it through, but his mitten got caught. Sam didn't notice. He rushed to catch up. That's a big hill, said Sam. We should have a small rest. But Zoe was already climbing. So Sam climbed up behind her. It's a long way down, said Sam. I wish we had a sled. We don't have a sled, said Zoe. But we do have a pig. I'm always the sled, said Sam. I'm better at steering, said Zoe. Yahoo! Now I'm colder, said Sam. Where's the North Pole? Let's ask the Yeti, said Zoe. A real Yeti, said Sam. Do they eat pigs? Probably not, said Zoe. Excuse me, Mr. Yeti, called Zoe. Where's the North Pole? The Yeti did not answer. Zoe tapped the Yeti's toe. Whoosh! The snow slipped off. It's the Scarecrow, said Sam. He's on the North Pole, said Zoe. They did their happy dance. We made it, said Zoe. We can go home, said Sam. He blinked. How do we get home? We follow your string, said Zoe. Leaving it was a good idea, Sam. I'm smart like that, said Sam. Let's go. The friends followed Sam's string over the hill and back to the fence. There's home, said Sam. Cheers, said Zoe. You're a great Arctic explorer. You too, said Sam. We're a perfect team.